Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to another installment of Home Solutions. Hope everyone is doing well this Saturday morning. Dennis Purvis with you here, as always. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the area's only local home and garden show. Today, we've got a big show. See what I did there, guys? We got a big show we're going to talk about here in just a little bit. But as always, we are brought to you by Pro 93 Home Solutions. Uh, and I'll get the shameless spot out of the way. But we are your local, friendly neighborhood contractor. Uh, a general contractor that does everything from small remodels all the way to full custom builds. Whether you're looking for a kitchen or bath remodel, maybe finish a basement, uh, maybe make a new uh, mother-in-law suite for your actual mother-in-law because uh, she, she, you're needing to move them in with you. We've been doing quite a bit of those lately. Uh, if you need a garage built, whatever that is, decks, uh, drainage, we're a general contractor, folks. We can help you with any of your needs. Give us a call, 458-4135 or pro93homesolutions.com on the web. Hit that contact us t tab, uh, fill out a lead there. That'll come directly to Jesse and I in the office. We'll get back to you just as quick as we can to schedule a completely free estimate. Uh, just also remember we are uh, roofing experts. So as this rain and stuff has moved in this week, if you're noticing some leaks or spots in the ceilings and maybe it's time to get somebody out there to take a look at your roof, Again, give us a call, 458-4135, and don't forget about our clean team. Wendy and the crew are ready to come out, uh, whether it's a deep clean, it's time to do some spring cleaning maybe around your house, some things you don't want to get to, you don't have the time to get to. Our clean team would love to help you. Remember, we do offer a green clean option. So if you have folks that maybe have some allergies or asthma or just don't like the smell of the chlorine and the ammonia type uh, disinfectants and cleaners, we've got an all-natural green clean option doesn't cost you another dime for us to do that uh, give us a call today we'd love to help you out and uh, get you taken care of so now that i got that out of the way let's talk about big things <laughs> and by big things folks i mean burnside insurance group so you may be thinking self i'm listening to a home and garden show and they're talking about insurance well folks <laughs> What good is your house that you're spending all this money and time? And for most of us, it's probably one of the largest investments we're going to make in our life. Um, what are you doing to protect it? You're doing. We talk about every week here the different things and tips and tricks we can give you for maintenance of your home, from roofs to gutters to lawn care to taking care of your garage to your car to your decks to your garden. But what are you doing to make sure all that is protected if the, the unthinkable happens? Mm -hmm. So I have got uh, two uh, friends of mine here that uh, do great work, and I can absolutely stand by them as, as not just uh, experts in their field, but also uh, men of integrity that, that operate and conduct business the way we do, and that's with transparency and honesty. And I think that'll come through today as we talk. So first, let me introduce the owner of Burnside Insurance Group, Duran Burnside. Duran, how you doing today, buddy? Doing well. Thanks so much for having me. No, listen, thank you for being here. And the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> but some of you that are listening to the show, you've heard Parker Cass before. He's been here before. He's part of uh, uh, Cleveland uh, um, Aiden Empowerment. He was here a few months ago uh, talking, talking back. Um, they're talking about uh, what they're doing here in the community. Well, today he's here in a little more professional capacity. He has joined yep. Burnside and is uh, an insurance agent with them. Parker, thanks for coming back. Hey, thanks for having me back, Dennis. So first, uh, Duran, I'm going to start with you. Give us kind of, for the folks that don't know, um, talk a little about how did Burnside Insurance Group come to be, man? Uh, honestly, it was um, a long time dream, right? Like being a small business owner. Uh, yeah. So I've been in insurance for quite some time and uh, the wife had convinced me to move to Florida. Um, and we decided we were ready to move back when COVID happened, right? We were yeah. away from all of our family and, uh, you know, mom and dad and parents and everybody was here. So I told her, I said, I'm, I'm good with going home. But there's one caveat to going back to Tennessee. Um, I have to start my own business. I don't want to work for anyone else anymore. Um, and she was like, well, we've been talking about it for a while, so we may as well do it. So moved back here in uh, Nov October of 2020, November 7th of 2020, we opened Burnside Insurance Group. Brother, um, I, first of all, really good move on the marital front there to be like, yeah, let's move back. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we moved down here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if we're going to move back, let's, yeah. let's throw a little sweetener in there. I got to like get some like for me. I right? like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, it's not, you know, it doesn't happen all the time. You no. got to take those wins where you can get it, right? I agree. There I you agree. go. 
So talk a little bit about, um, and, I, and I'll, I'll throw this to you, Parker. I know that you guys um, met here locally, and what drew you as somebody who's, um, you know, starting their career in insurance? What what drew you to Duran? What made you want to say this is a guy I want to work with? Well, I've known Duran for a few years, and it's on more of a personal level just knowing him through uh, through the lounge here in Cleveland, and just his integrity and the ability you know that he has as a business owner, and just the mindset that he has. We uh, share similar goals in that sense. Yeah, and I can tell you, um, I, I said a little bit here in the opener when we did the introductions, but um, the more Duran and I talk, and just the kind of it's the. It, it's fine. It's so fun sometimes to meet like-minded people. Agreed. And that the customer comes first. Mm -hmm. It's about relationship, not transaction. I mean, these are all things that just came out. We, uh, you know, had lunch this week and we we're talking about these things. So, so let's talk about. Let's get into nooks and grannies, and this can go to to either one of you. But talk about what sets Burnside apart from what most folks um, most folks are out there used to if they're talking about home auto life insurance. Mm -hmm. You want me to take that? Yeah, sure. Um, so I would say that the big difference is, is education, right? Um, it's not necessarily about us selling a policy, and I know a ton of people say that, but we truly mean it, right? Um, I turn down just as much business as I write, uh, because if my clients don't trust me, it's probably not a good fit. Yeah. Um, so if I make a recommendation for something, it's not because I'm trying to earn a bigger commission, it's because I truly believe that's the best coverage for you. Uh, so if you don't trust us and, and don't believe in what we're offering, a lot of times it's not a good fit, and that's what makes us different, right? We we would love to give you education on what it is you're purchasing from us, and if we're not the right fit for you, maybe we give you some pointers on what to do with your current insurance carrier. And I think one of the things that <clears throat> when Parker and I were talking about um, him making that move to come over with you, one of the things we talked about is I don't think people realize the difference of what the power of being, because you guys are an independent agency, Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. And just take a second. What's the difference between a captive agency and, a, and an independent agency? Sure. Uh, so your captive agency is going to be someone who can only sell one brand's product, right? So I don't want to name drop any. He doesn't want to name drop. For everybody out there, that's your State Farms of the world. Your there you go. Your right, own. right. So <laughs> the big red box. Yes. Uh, listen, right? it's it's <laughs> it's the people you see that have all the commercials on all the sporting yeah, events. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so we we work a little bit different, right? So I don't work for any one specific carrier or company. Um, we have multiple that we can offer, which means that we actually work in conjunction with our clients, right? Um, we're not necessarily looking to uh, find the product that best suits us. We're looking to find the product that best suits them, and that may be with a number of different carriers. Uh, so we have multiple options that we offer in agency, uh, which would be different from a captive. Yeah. Uh, they only have the one option. And I think what not only does that provide some choice for the for the customer mm -hmm. that they typically wouldn't have with with a captive agency, and that's not saying that the insurance coverage you just just to be real clear. Um, to all my to all my state farm buddies out there, <laughs> farm bureau buddies, that's not to say that that coverage is any better or worse no. than anybody else. I mean, insurance is, you know, it's a necessary evil in this life. You hope Agreed. you never need it, but by God, when you need it, you better have it. Yes. Um, so it's 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 not about the quality of that. It's uh, about options and about choice, and it's it's you know we're capitalists in this country for a reason. So uh, you know it's it's finding the right solution. Uh, for you, so it's, and and I think the other part that uh, people miss with that is that captive agencies don't sometimes are a little more conservative as far as uh, n uh, nuanced policies. Mm -hmm. um, I know some, you know, personal collections. Mm -hmm. I think you know we've got a lot of folks here that have. Uh, jewelry collections, uh, sports memorabilia, absolutely. Uh, firearms. Yes. That's a big one. That's a big, this, one. That's a big one in Tennessee. <laughs> it's a big one around here. So, I mean, it's having those options and having that stuff available. Um, and listening to you, and, and I, I was looking at your website earlier this week, and one of the things that I really loved about that, and I think it's on your About Us page, is that it is you guys are advisors. Yes. It's not just an agent and a salesperson. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you, you want to be in business next week, so you need to sell some policies. Yeah, but, agree. <laughs> but the reality is, is that you really get, you guys can really serve that role as an advisor, yeah. as opposed to, and it's the same way, folks, For if, if you're out there, um, some of you that have investing, you know, if you go to a guy at Merrill Lynch, 
he's going to sell you what Merrill Lynch is pushing that week. Mm -hmm. You go to an independent financial advisor, he's going to try to find the best product for you and what you have to invest. Right. Yeah. Same mentality with you guys. Am I wrong? That's very true. That's it. So, Parker, you guys, and I, and I know um, I, 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 I tell everybody, you know, stories sell. I, it's the, I still say it's the reason Jesus told stories and told parables. It's what everybody relates to. So, and I know just in your first a little bit working there, you've already seen some success with being able to save people, get better coverage um, across the board on different products. Um, tell some of those stories just just since you're in your short time there, what you guys have been All able right. to been able to do. <laughs> well, uh, the founder of CAE, Ryan Ledford, yeah. I was actually able to save him close to a thousand dollars a year. Jeez, just uh, looking over his policies that he currently had, and uh, I was actually able to save myself a little over a thousand dollars a year as well. And you know, folks. I don't know about you, but these days, thousand dollars, I could, I'd find something to do with that money. A whole lot, a whole lot better than oh, buying insurance yeah. policies. Oh yeah. And notice that while he was telling those stories, for those of you watching on Facebook, by the way, hey everybody in Facebook world, <laughs> check out Duran's face when he started hearing those stories. He's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because Parker may be writing it, but he still owns the company. <laughs> yeah, that's called leverage income, everybody. That's called leverage income. Uh, so. You guys, it's uh, I know being able to kind of have those conversations with folks, um, you know, it is, you guys are, let's just go through and then we'll talk about, we'll go through each of these here in our next segment, but you guys uh, just talk about the products you guys offer, obviously home, auto, I'm mm -hmm. assuming, uh, right. life. Yep. Uh, what, what, I guess maybe easier, what is it that you guys don't do? So the only thing that we don't offer currently is health insurance. Okay. Uh, but since Parker has come on board, that, that may be changing soon because he, he likes the idea of it. Yeah. Um, and I'm not opposed. So yeah. uh, we may be bringing in health, but we do auto, home, business, or commercial insurance, whatever you decide to call it, business, commercial, same thing, and life insurance currently. Now, you guys also, uh, I know we've got college town, mm -hmm. young folk, a lot of rental property. You mm -hmm. guys offer renter's insurance as well, Absolutely. right? Yes, we do. Absolutely. And am I wrong that to this that renter's insurance is still for the money, just stupid if you don't have it? Yes. Uh, it's extremely inexpensive. Yeah. Uh, I mean, somewhere between 9 and $30 a month, hmm. right? It's, it's really inexpensive. Yeah. And it is one of those things that when something does go wrong, uh, you, you really like to have it, right? So, so let's, let, before we got, we got a minute here before the break. Tell people real quick, for everybody listening out there that's renting, and you say, well, my landlord has insurance. Mm -hmm. Explain to them why a landlord policy may not be the savior they think it is if there is a catastrophic event from water or fire. Yeah, because a landlord policy doesn't cover the tenant. Mm. It Contents, doesn't cover right? any of your stuff, oh. right? So I, I tell people it's just all the, the time. building. Yeah, so it, if you think about it, right, like the landlord policy covers the building itself. But if you were to pick up that structure and shake it, everything that falls out is your <laughs> stuff, and none of that is covered. <laughs> it's kind of like Amazon telling you you've got shipping protection, but only on the box. On the box. Box, Our right. box is nothing covered. inside. Nothing, nothing you ordered. Inside. Nothing you wanted. Yeah, uh, is covered. So, folks, you heard that between nine and thirty dollars a month. And and listen, it's it's just makes sense. Uh, I was in uh, before I got married. I was actually uh, in a situation where we had a huge water uh, water issue and a water leak at apartment complex that I lived or townhouse complex and. I didn't have renter's insurance, Yikes. and everything on the bottom floor that was mine that was ruined was now mine, now ruined. Yes, uh, it was and up you to own me. Both I own, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My dad called it the Oklahoma warranty. You buy a car, you own both. Half. If it splits it. If in it half, breaks you, in half, you, you, you owe both half. Yeah. So, all right. So when we come back, we'll dive deeper into some of these other. I know we'll get into home insurance. Listen, folks, I, you definitely want to stick around here for the second segment. Get some uh, nuance here of what you need to know about things that are changing, especially with property insurance and homeowners insurance with deductibles and different things that they're seeing out there in the marketplace. So don't touch that dial. We'll be back here in just a minute. You've been listening to Home Solutions right here on Mix 104.1 and 101.3 The Buzz. Are you tired of going to YouTube or Google for answers to your home improvement questions? Maybe you have more projects than you have time. No matter where you are in the process, Pro 93 Home Solutions is ready to serve you. Pro 93 is a local, veteran-owned company offering residential and commercial remodeling, cleaning, and security. Contact us today at 458-4135 or online at pro93homesolutions.com. Let the pros at Pro 93 find the solution for your home or business. That's 458-4135. Welcome back, everybody. 
Thank you for joining us today. No matter how you're listening this beautiful Saturday morning, maybe you're arrived, driving around town right now. You're headed out to run errands. Maybe you're headed out to uh, some of the festivals and stuff we've got going on today. Maybe you're headed out to the river. Maybe you're headed out to a local hardware store or a garden center to start your honeydew list for the day. But however you're listening, thank you so much for tuning in. Maybe you're streaming online. Maybe you're on the Mix 1041 app. If you don't have that on your phone, make sure you get to your app store and get that taken care of. Uh, Facebook folks, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, so we, uh, we've we been talking here today uh, with Burnside Insurance Group. With I've got uh, Duran and Parker here. Um, talking about different things. We, you know, we talk about home and garden stuff every week. So let's talk about today making sure you're insuring and taking care of what's most likely the biggest investment most of us are going to make in our life, and that's our home, uh, our cars, and our lives. So um, that house is kind of useless if there's no one alive to get it. So, <laughs> And I, I hate to break it. I want to spoil the ending for anybody, but spoiler alert, we're all going to need life insurance at some point. So uh, you bet you need to make sure you've got it. So um, first, let's just dive in. We, we talked a little bit about renter's insurance there right before the end of the segment. So let's just jump right in with homeowners. Um, Duran, I know you've, you've got, you know, over a decade experience at writing this. Correct. Uh, and, you know, we talked about earlier this week at lunch some of the things that we're seeing from a contractor's point of view mm -hmm. uh, in the marketplace. What are, you, what are you seeing out there as you're writing policies and seeing the changes that's happening um, with deductibles and how folks are doing those right now? Uh, so one of the things you got to look for when you know you're you're purchasing a homeowner's policy as far as deductibles go is make sure you understand what that one percent or two percent those type of things mean right uh, so a lot of people think it's one percent of whatever the claim might be uh -huh. but it's not it's one percent of the cost of your dwelling so your your whole structure right so if your house is uh, you know, five hundred thousand dollars, and you've got a one percent deductible. That means you've got a five thousand dollar deductible, right? Yeah. Um, so be, pay attention to that, of course. Um, you know, the, the other things we're seeing is just not having enough coverage in general, right? The yep. market has gone crazy. Uh, so if you've had the same homeowner's policy for last couple of years, you're probably underinsured because the the built-in bump on homeowner's policies is like two percent a yeah. year, right? So. Your coverage didn't move very much, and now all of a sudden your house is worth two times the amount it was last year. You couldn't build your garage, right? Or something <laughs> happened. Yeah, you know, so. yeah. yeah. we As, see that. We so. see, we're seeing that too. And uh, you know, obviously, I think a lot of folks look. I'm guilty of it. I, I'll admit it. When you come up for renewal, folks, you want to take a minute to look at your policy. That's it. At the very least, call your agent. Mm -hmm. Because they'll be able to, most, most am, am I wrong, you guys, when, when, when the people renew, you guys can kind of see a side by side. Here's the changes yeah, you've got. Absolutely. Here are the things that are different. You know, I've told this story on here before, but we've had a customer um, just within the last year that was with a really well-known, and I will not say the name of the company now, um, but he didn't look at his renewal mm -hmm. and didn't talk to his agent. Um, he did what I do, and this is what I told you I was guilty of. Renewal time, you get that big envelope that comes in the mail. You know it's your homeowner's policy. Yep. I don't even open it. It goes upstairs to the filing cabinet under 2023 insurance. I put a little tab in it and feel like my job is done. He didn't look at it. Agent didn't let him know. Needed a new roof. Adjuster agreed he needed a new roof. Right. Adjuster goes to submit the new roof and finds out that his roof had been excluded from his policy. And that's, a, that's the nightmare scenario. Yes, that's the nightmare scenario. And now he's got a $12,000 roof that he's on the hook for. Yeah. And folks, it pays. You heard them say, if you were listening in the first segment, the word that both of them used was, we, we, you heard education and advising. Finding someone who's going to take the time. If your insurance agent hasn't called you to talk to you about your policy and changes in your policy, I bet they've called you to try to sell you a new policy yeah. because that's how the business works, <laughs> Right. But if they haven't, if you're, if you haven't had that conversation, I will tell you, and they're 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 not going to say this because I know they're not going to want to blow somebody else's candle out to make <laughs> theirs burn brighter. But I'll go ahead and do it. Find a new agent. Yes. Find somebody who will take the time to sit down with you. God forbid you ever need it. But if you don't understand what's in it, we see it because where we see it as a contractor is when that loss has already happened. Mm -hmm. When you've been moved out of your house. When your kids have been moved out. When you're living in a hotel because of fire or water damage. And folks, I'll tell you, people get it, it creates 
so much panic because when they bought this policy 10 years ago, they had a thousand dollar deductible and they've never cared to look because they've never had a reason to. Yeah. And now they've got a 1% deductible, which everybody thinks, Oh, not a big deal. Till that house is worth five hundred thousand dollars, and you, you, when you're planning on thousand dollars, and that becomes five thousand, folks, take the time to find someone who will sit down with you, and I can promise you, Duran and Parker are two of those people. So, we've talked about deductibles. What else are you guys seeing out there from homeowners that people, you know, what are questions, what are questions that customers need to ask, Mm -hmm. or that you would wish they would ask as as somebody who's trying to help them. Um, from a homeowner's standpoint, I would say ask what type of policy is it. So what does that mean? Is it ACV, which means actual cash value? Mm-hmm. Is it replacement costs? Or is it guaranteed replacement costs? Uh, so all three of those things mean something very different. And your contractor, trust me, I know what all three of those <laughs> things mean. It means whether you're going to get someone reputable, licensed, and bonded to do your work. Yeah. Because if it's actual cash value... Nobody's touching it, right? You, folks, you're going to have a hard time finding a chuck in a truck with a magnet on the side yeah. of his t- Tacoma yeah. to come out and do the work because there's <laughs> there's no money in it, and there's usually depreciation depending on the age of it. Yep. You, you're you not going to be able to replace it. That's correct. Um, That's correct. Y- you want at least replacement at costs. At least replacement costs. And, and guaranteed it. is even better. That's it. And, folks, if they're... This is where having an independent agent, you're going to get to see where those options are from several different companies, correct? That's correct. Yep. I know you had talked about before, just to kind of explain the process. I know, Parker, you had said this is it's night and day from from kind of places you've been before on quoting things. But talk about the program where you literally can go in and see all these options and all the to really lay it out for folks. How has that changed how you've presented and be able to sell insurance? Well, it really gives you just an option to look at. You know, we we put in the information, plug it all in, and then use the system that we use to narrow it down and then go in and fine tune your exact quote you hear those words fine tune he can't do that without talking to you and like i said find you an agent that'll take the time who's not just trying to close the deal over the phone that minute but can have you guys stop by and before i forget how do they get a hold of you guys what's the best phone number for you guys out there well our phone number for our office it's 423-709-9010 and if they can find you on the web it's our our website's Burnside, insgrp.com. Love it. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook, hopefully Gideon will tag them right above here within our <laughs> Facebook page where all that information will be. And uh, for those of you listening, uh, I will uh, make sure to have that. We'll get that out here before we get off the air here in just a few minutes. But all right, so we've talked about homeowner's insurance. Let's talk about auto. Look. Most of us got garages, carports, something. That, that, that car is in your house, too. Uh, we need to talk about it. We've, we've talked about those different things. Talk about um, um, any, what you've seen, you know, changes, any changes in the marketplace. What do people need to be thinking about when they're buying car insurance? Yeah. So really the limits of liability, right? Um, I think that's the biggest part for most people is they, they don't understand what those numbers on the policy mean, that 25, 50, 25, yes. or you know, that 100, 300, 100. Um, you, you want those numbers to be as high as you can potentially afford, right? Yes. Uh, because if you hit someone, cause an accident, hurt someone, uh, you don't want your own bank account to be on the line. You want the insurance company to take the brunt of that force, right? Yes. Uh, so buying as much coverage as you can possibly afford is the, is the way to go. Um, but understanding what those coverages mean is a big deal. So I would say get with your agent, make sure they go over what those coverages mean, how they benefit you or don't benefit you, right? Yeah. Um, but I'd say that's the key. Of course, everyone, I think, knows uh, the term full coverage doesn't exist. I'll say yes. that. Um, there's, <laughs> there's no one that can cover every issue, right? So when I hear people say, I've got full coverage, I always squirm a little bit because it doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. you know, we can get you close. Yeah, we, we, we can get you. We can try to get you a, a car back. Yeah, right? yeah we you can know, get you close. <laughs> maybe get you out of the hospital. Uh, so, um, and then kind of the other side of that, and there were, there's some specialty things that I hope we'll have time for, but let's talk about life insurance. And Parker, I know that's something that uh, is kind of in your wheelhouse. What do people need, what, what, other than the fact that you need it? I mean, I think I, let's just start with the with the baseline. Unless you're you have a rich aunt that none of us know about, um, <laughs> chances are uh, you need life insurance if you're trying to protect those you love, uh, leave something behind. I I used to joke around all the time. 
um, that you know I think I'm worth more dead than alive. Uh, that's not a bad thing if when the unthinkable happens. I know we just um, Parker, you 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 know some of the guys that work with uh, us at, uh, at Pro ninety three, and we just lost one of our uh, leaders and project managers, Bradley Jones, a few uh, weeks ago, and um, his wife uh, his wife had no idea that he had taken out a policy, a life insurance policy at work. That's awesome. And uh, when she found out, she called me and she goes, did you know about this? And I was like, know about what? That he had this life insurance policy. I mean, yeah, t- we take it out of his check every week. And she was like, she starts crying and going, you know, he tried to take care of me when I was alive, and now he's taking care of me after he's gone. Gone, absolutely. Yeah. And I know my buddies that are agents, they'll tell you that there's the most redeeming part of that their 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 career mm-hmm. is being able to go to somebody in that time of need and be able to know that they've you know, got a direct deposit or hand them a check. I agree. What are the things people need to think about, Parker, when they're talking about life insurance? Well, the biggest thing is it's going to happen at some point. Yeah. And especially people that are younger, it's it's the most inexpensive time to buy life insurance. And accidents happen whether you're 20, 30, 40, or 95. Things happen. But as we get older, it gets more and more expensive to purchase life insurance. And what we do is we sit down and we come up with a plan for you and get the best route possible to make sure that you're making an educated decision. And you guys have several folks you can go through for that as well, correct? As yes. an independent agent. So really, it's, it's about, again, education and advising. Mm-hmm. You know, Finding out what's important to them, what they want to leave behind. Um, so folks, understand that y- there is, again, I said this in the first, uh, first segment, but you can see insurance is a necessary evil, but you know, I, we got reminded just a few weeks ago personally at our, at our company how fragile this thing is and how, and we're reminded of it every day when we get phone calls. Folks, we're still getting phone calls from folks that were, if you guys remember around Christmas, on Christmas Eve, we had eight degree weather Mm -hmm. and pipes burst all over town. We're still talking to customers that are just now getting through the process. And I will tell you, these are a lot of insurance companies that I've never heard of or that we've never dealt with that are just now getting folks that people are still in hotels, still displaced because they've had such a process uh, you know, and Duran, I, I kind of want to finish today. If you you said something this week at lunch, where we talked about some people's motivation for insurance is to get the cheapest thing possible. Mm-hmm. Talk about why that's and and again, you said that you you don't write everything you can. Talk about your guys' philosophy as far as I want the cheapest I want the cheapest thing possible. It's just it's it's not a good idea, right? Uh, a lot of times when you purchase the cheapest thing you can possibly get, you're leaving yourself open to some big gaps in coverage. Um, so when we go back to like ACV versus, yep. you know, replacement cost versus guaranteed replacement cost, like that ACV policy is going to be the cheapest. Yes. It's absolutely going to be the cheapest. But you better pray and you never need it. Right. They, they better pray they don't have to call you because yeah. when you come out, you're going to say, oh, I can't. I, there's nothing I can do with that. Right. Yes. I just can't get there on, with that number. Um, so make sure you understand what you're purchasing at the end of the day. The, the difference in cost in policies over the course of a year is really not that big of a deal. No. Right? When, when you think about the difference to go from ACV to replacement costs being $100, $150 a year or $12, $13 a month, I think most of us can scrounge that up. Yeah, I think I've got that in my change holder in the truck. Right. right. And you guys take change. I think, I think Parker said you can pay any way you want. Um, <laughs> said rolled pennies are great. It's great. It's wonderful. Parker will be counting those. Yes. 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 <laughs> that's, a, that's an ownership perk yes. right there. Uh, so listen, we're going to get out of here. Parker, one more time. Tell us how to get a hold of you guys. All right. Our phone number, it's 423-709-9010. Or you can find us online at burnsideinsgrp.com. Guys, listen, I can tell you right now, absolutely positively you need to take uh, uh give these guys an opportunity to, to to get your business i think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised and educated you're not you're going to come away one way or the other knowing a lot more than when you went in so um man listen thank you guys for coming in thank you i really appreciate you we'll get you guys back on here soon listen for all you guys out there enjoy the rest of your saturday and your weekend uh go home and love on your family make sure to love your neighbor and remember we're all in this together we'll see you next week you've been listening to home solutions right here on mix 104.1 and 101.3 the bus